Hi there everyone, hope you can hear me over the distant uh, dual carriageway. Russ Douglas 222 again. This time I have my existing Arcan Optics Zulu's ZHD 520R and I have on loan, kindly from the Arcan Optics team, the Zulu's ZHD 312R. So this is lower mag, wider angle, and I don't know if you can see this, if I angle this phone downwards, you can hopefully see the lower mag ZHD 312R has a shorter objective lens. So the backs of the scopes are level with the back of the Brucey bonus mounting plate and the fronts. Yeah, that's all to do with the focal length of the lens. What I'm here for is to do a direct comparison, record possibly UK first and pick up some footage in daylight with both scopes. I've got the uh, time synced, they're both set up to record in the same three minute segments. Anyway, on with the review. Okay, that's both scopes recording simultaneously. So, if I can... Let's have a look at a point. I haven't checked that these are perfectly aligned. Let's try the top of that telegraph pole. So... No, okay. The 520s look into its left and the 312s look into its right, but it's close enough. You get, you're going to get the idea. Uh, let's see at the bottom of that pole, there's a nice yellow sign if I remember rightly. Yep. Get the 520 focused. Now, they are quite focused fussy, these are Kanzulus. So, uh, I do have a, a focus throw lever, kindly. Uh, I'm reviewing for John, that's JCHU 1988 off the Airgun Forum. Straight away, you should be able to see there's a big difference in the field of view. So they're both on base mag. The ZHD 520 is on five times. The ZHD 312 is on three times. So let's take them both up uh, one mag. So the 312 is on 4.5 and the 520s on 7.5. So let's zoom again. Oh, sorry, I didn't have the really heavyweight tripod with me, so this one's a bit wobbly. So, 312s now on 6 mag, the 520s now on 10 mag. Okay, going up again, zoom. 312 is on 7.5, and the 520s on 12.5. Up again. 312s on 9. 520s on 15. Sorry, they're not perfectly aligned here. Up again. So the 312 is on 10.5 mag, and the 520s on 17.5 mag. Right. So that's the 312 on 12 mag, and the 520 on 20 mag. I have to say, the grass with the naked eye is a little bit lighter green than it is through the scope. Let's take a still shot with my mobile, and I'll put that on the screen. The main reason for this test is comparing mags and comparing field of view. That's them both down to base mag and these are, well for me certainly, these are sort of air gun scopes. And let's have a look at an object a bit closer. So from memory that post is about 35 metres away. Well, I haven't been here for months. Yeah, 31 metres, I wasn't far off them I guess. Hopefully you can see the difference at 32 metres between the two scopes. See how much of my car I can see through one, a little bit of anti-clockwise focus, and through the other one. You can literally see more than double, twice as much of the car through one scope as you can through the other. Let's try something we can count. This is a piece of farm machinery. Basically it's for grabbing the bales, tiny amount of focus correction. With the 520, I can see uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those slats. With 312, I can see the whole thing. And this is at, press the range phone on the 520, 17 meters. I'd say if you never shoot beyond sub 12 ranges, the ZHD 312R is probably the better scope, although it can definitely be used at longer ranges. 
There's no rabbits around at the moment, but we've got a few seagulls over there, clockwise. Get the focus up. Clockwise, likewise, on the 312. Those birds are pretty clear through both scopes. So that's at 200 meters, just over 200 meters. And obviously the 312 can go up significantly in mag. Let's just have a look. Full mag. I mean, if that was a, a big fat crow, and you had 178 HMR at 200 meters, it's pushing the range a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. Even the 312 could, could work to that range at a push. Whereas the 520, let's get that lined up. Let's get it focused. Okay, so that's a seagull wandering around. 200 odd meters walking away from us clear as day in the 520 and let's just sharpen the focus a bit on the 312 yeah pretty clear for my own peace of mind what range is that rock at 40 meters oh that's a nice test that I have shot a rabbit with a sub 12 air rifle in the head at 42 meters but that's my limit. That would, I would say that would have to be a, a very good day, weather-wise, calm. So that rock is 40 meters away, and that's through the three, the 520, and that's through the 312. Uh, base mag. That is very nice and clear. Awesome. There are the turbines, 15 kilometers away, nine miles, and then. <laughs> Whoops, better not fall over. There's the telegraph pole. 135 meters. Getting focus. And then coming closer. Anti-clockwise focus. And let's just arrange this. 10 yards. Oh, it's on yards. 9, 7, 5. Comes down to it ranges down to five yards and it certainly focuses an awful lot closer than that so there you go five yards with the LRF which is about four and a half meters pretty impressive thanks very much for watching there's more coming very very soon and uh, also more coming with the new Arcan Optics multispectral TNC 225R and they really are responding to feedback day by day and they're adding extra features that this thing is uh, not quite ready for production yet because they're adding more more uh, extras and more improvements day by day brilliant <laughs>